Okay, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, Query Builder. Uh, the Query Builder allows us to create new SAS uh, tables, and but through here we can you know compute new columns, we can join tables together, we can group things together, uh, we can summarize and modify column attributes, um, and there's a whole bunch of different uh, functions that we can use to to help compute our new columns. Uh, for this exercise, we're going to go ahead and use uh, this uh, exercise uh, data spreadsheet, and it contains uh, three worksheets in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the query builder to to join these three tables together, and then after that we're going to go ahead and uh, fil uh, use the query builder to the filter option in the query builder to filter out um, certain elements, and then we're also going to uh, sort by by a, a certain uh, a word or a, or attribute that we're looking for. So these are our data sets. Um, this one is uh, about students has their class rank, their name, uh, their math and English scores. Uh, the next data set is uh, sports, uh, so it has their name and what, what type of sport they play. Uh, and the last one is their age, the student name plus their age. So first thing we want to do is join these three tables together. And so we're going to use the Query Builder, and the Query Builder tab is up here uh, right at the top. <clears throat> so we just click this. And so this is the original data set. Now we want to bring in the other two data sets we're working with. So we can go to Add Tables. Or we can go to join tables, which is what we're going to use to join them. So in here we can use add tables. So we click that. Then it opens up where our, our uh, data sets are at. Uh, so let's see. We're going to use, we have the students one open, so we're going to use sports first. Okay, and then we're going to add the age worksheet. Okay, so... Because um, <clears throat> the students and sports uh, data set have, the, have a matching uh, variable name, it automatically uh, merges them by name. <clears throat> but since, they're, since the, the sports data set and the age data set do not have anything in common, we have to manually uh, uh, kind of uh, match them up. So to do that, we can, we can click name and match it up with student. Because under, this, under the age uh, data set, student is just the student's name. So we click name, and we just drag it over to student. And then it gives our options how we want to join it. For this, we're using the inner join, which will basically just look for all the matched rows. And whatever doesn't match, it leaves that out of the data set. So it's basically looking for what these, what these two data sets have in common. So it's, and it's the first one that pops up, inner join, match rows only, only given a condition, inner join. So we click OK. And it may take a while. Okay, so now you can see it's matched up. So the first uh, name from the first data set is matching up to the name of the second data set. It's matching up to our uh, students and the last data set. So we click close. And we'll go ahead and move all of our variables over, or all of our data sets, rather. <clears throat> and when we move them over here, this is basically what we want to include in our output data. So if we just moved name over, then our output uh, data set will only have name from the first data set. OK, so we'll go ahead and run and see what it looks like. <clears throat> Oh, let me get rid of this real quick. Okay, so you can see it's it merged all of our all of our th uh, three data sets together. Uh, now notice that we have uh, we have name over here, another name uh, column over here, and then student over here. So we have three different columns with all that are pretty much the same. So what we can do is just go ahead and remove these uh, uh, duplicate columns. So we can go to, back to we go to modify task. Opens up the query builder again. And so we can just pick which one we want to get rid of. Um, I'll get rid of name one and student. Then we'll run it again. OK, now we have one of each uh, column. And it looks a lot cleaner. So, so what we did is just we joined all three tables by a common, common variable that they all had in common and uh, kind of just cleaned it up a little bit. <clears throat> so now, real quick, we're going to go back into the, uh, the query builder. We'll go back to modify task, pulls up the query builder again. 
and now we're going to filter our uh, output data set. So for this, we want to for this exercise, we want to filter. Uh, we want we want the students that that only play football and basketball. So that comes under the sports uh, or sport uh, column. So we go ahead, it's we can find that in the second data set sports. So this is the variable we want. So we click it and drag it over here. So we only click the ones that we want to filter out. So we'll go in a list. Okay, so we'll add our uh, variables or our values rather. So we want football. And we click, click away, and then you see it moved it down here into our condition. And we also want basketball. Okay, go to next. All right, and just click finish. And lastly, we want to also sort by the sport. So we go to sort data. And once again, we just want to use uh, the sport variable. So we just drag it over. And then we run it. Okay, so now you see that we only have uh, basketball and football, and it's sorted uh, alphabetically. And so this is a pretty uh, general, <clears throat> general thing, general things that we can do with uh, the query builder. There's so many more functions that we can we can do, but for now, this is just a simple, simple overview of the uh, query.